Hey all, Al here with Ashinoko episode 9 review. At first we see Memcho, Miyako, and Aqua discussing the matter of Memcho becoming an idol and working with them. We learn that Memcho is with an agency but she can work with others too. We find out that she has been hiding her real age and she is actually 25 years old. This part was quite funny and adorable. The way Memcho confessed this to the others made me laugh hard. She may be a bit older but she looks the same as the others so she should be fine even though most idols retire after the age of 30. Then we see Memcho is raised by a single mother and has two younger siblings. We see that her mother was fully supportive when she was trying to be an idol but when Memcho was in her third year of high school her mother became ill due to overworking herself out. So Memcho had no choice but to give up her dream and pause her studies in order to take care of her family. This honestly hit me really hard because it's just too relatable and I have gone through similar situations multiple times in my life. I have given up on many things including my dream but I don't regret any of that because I did those things for my loved ones. It's just that in real life most of the time we don't get a second chance at pursuing our dreams and this part did an amazing job of reminding me that. Next we see that by the time everything returned to normal Mencho turned 23 and she couldn't go back to pursuing her dream of becoming an idol because the Japanese entertainment industry considers girls over 20 years of age as old, especially the idol industry. Ruby and Kana overhears everything and they want Mencho to join and so she joins. I really don't understand the mentality of the Japanese entertainment industry and how they can consider girls over the age of 20 as old. Nowadays most countries don't even see girls over the age of 30 as old. These Japanese people at the top of their industry should change their mindset a bit because that would help everyone. Then we see a bunch of stuff. We see Ruby and her classmates talking about the reality show and how Aqua became very popular among the girls in the school due to it. Ruby, Kana, and Memcho practice their dance skills. Aqua tells Kana that he'll get hurt if she keeps bad-mouthing him. Kana has been giving Aqua the cold shoulder because he decided to date Akane. It seems like Kana has fallen for Aqua a bit too deeply and it's kinda confusing me given the fact how practical Kana is but love is blind I guess. Moving on we see Aqua and Masaya talking about Ai at their meeting. We see that Ai during her very early days of work wasn't very caring about her appearance and didn't use to interact with people around her much. So Masaya made her go to a workshop hosted by Lala Lai Theatre Company. Masaya tells Aqua that Ai must have fallen in love with someone there because she began to change and suddenly gave off a mature woman look after going there. Masaya says he'll introduce Aqua to the leader of Lala Lai Company so that Aqua can get more information. Aqua asks why he is doing so much for Aqua and Masaya says he sees huge potential in Aqua so as a producer he wants to be able to cast Aqua in his shows in the future. We see that he also knows about the new Bikamichi and wants to invest there. This part is clearly setting up Aqua working with Lala Lai Company and we know Akane also works there so it will be interesting to see what goes down there. Then we see Ruby, Kana and Memcho discussing that they should upload a music video. They decide to use songs from the old Bikamichi group because their own song will take more time to finish. Memcho and Ruby discuss who should be the center of the group and they also say that they want to enter a big idol event through Masaya's help. Kana says she is a bad singer so she will pass and also says some nasty stuff about herself. Ruby and Memcho try to comfort her, later on they find out that Kana can sing fairly well and the episode ends. So Kana is a good actor, a good singer and has good connections yet she isn't successful, this is very odd and I'm wondering what might have happened in the past that made her like this. Overall it was a great episode and very relatable for various reasons. I really enjoyed it and can hardly wait for the next one. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video and want to see me make more then hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to say something then leave a comment. You can also follow me on Twitter or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description, until then see ya.